to him that runneth, no, no. but it's to whom God shows but mercy. God. Ooh, yes. Amen. You know, I'm glad one day that the grace and mercy of God shine down on me. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I begin to think as Brother Rob was up and, and many others, and I begin to think about, do you know, back, back in the Bible times, shepherds, when they had their sheep, they would take oil, anointing oil, and they would rub it on these sheep's heads. They would rub it on their eyes. And they would rub it on their ears. You know why they did this? So the parasites and the bugs and everything that was in the wilderness, it couldn't get inside of these animals. Amen. Yes. They anointed these animals yes. with, with an oil, yes. with a salve, so yes. they would be protected. Yes. You know, when I think about that, you know, I think about going there into the... Um, um, and to the uh, 16th chapter of 1 Samuel. Yes. And we all know what happened there in that, in that moment. Um, the king came to find the next king of Israel. And we all know the story. They lined up the, the, the uh, brothers in front of him. And he walked in front of them. And they were all pretty. They were all well dressed. They were all done the way that it should have been done. That's it. They were clean. They were bathed. They had, the Father had prepared them for this moment. Man had prepared them for this moment. For this moment. And he walked in front of them and said, you know, this is not, there's, this, they're not here. And he said, what do you mean they're not here? They're not here. These are the ones that I have prepared. Yes. These are my sons right here. These are mine. These are mine. I've done everything the right way. Yes. I've bathed them. I've cleaned them. They're educated. They're where they're supposed to be. And he said, don't you have anybody else? Isn't there one, one left? Isn't there one left? Just all? Something came inside of him that said, you must have there one more somewhere. Yeah. 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 The Holy Ghost yes. moved inside of that man that said, you must have one more somewhere. And he said, well, I do have one more. But he's on the backside of the desert. He's nowhere near here. He's tending to the sheep. And he said, go get him. Yes. Yes, Lord. Go get him. Yeah, whatever you do. Something came inside of this man. They said, go get him. This could be the one. This could be the one. I don't think it was a few hour journey. I think it took some time for David to get there. It may have been a day. It may have been two days. It said he was on the back side of the desert, tending to the sheep. Yes. Anointing those sheep, protecting sheep. those sheep, yes. doing what he had to do to make sure that they were safe. Yes. Mm. Yes. And he came. And when he approached him, all the spirit of the living God moved upon him. And he said, this is the one. This, this is, the, is one. the one. This is the one. Yes. If you can bring up there. He, and it says, I'm not sure if it's in the 11th, uh, in, in the 11th or the 12th there. It says he's, he's ruddy. He's dirty. He's... He said he had brought him, and he's ruddy, and with all of a beautiful countenance and godly to look upon. The Lord said, "Arise, arise, arise, and anoint him, for this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Don't you look upon somebody's countenance. This boy had just been on the backside doing what his father had told him to do. He was protecting the sheep. He was doing what the Spirit of God." And let him to do. He was doing what he needed to do. Right, right. But it wasn't until the anointing oil began to pour onto David and it flowed onto his head and it flowed down his face. I think the Spirit of God moved upon him and he poured that whole vat of oil on David because he knew that this was the one. He knew this was the one that had done the job. This was the one that the Spirit had moved upon. You know, I feel like that's just where we are. You know, I don't like coming into services anymore, Brother Marlowe, 
yeah. Brother Rose, Brother Langford, and just having a mundane right. normal. Let's yeah, just brother. get through and type right. service. Those days this are behind me. Right. I don't have time for it anymore. Yeah, right. Right. This is the King's Court. Yes, Lord. Praise I'm God. ready to go to the next level. Yeah.
Elisha did when Elijah laid the mantle down, brother? He didn't let it, he, you know, he didn't let too much dust get on that mantle, brother. He didn't allow too many things to dirty up that mantle. You know what Elisha did? He said, Elijah, if you go, I'll go. He said, if you lodge, I'll lodge. If you sleep, I'll sleep. You be there, I'll be there. You, know, you want to know my God, your God will be my God. Because somebody will be there. Yeah. Somebody will be there. I don't want it to be anybody else but me. Hallelujah. You know what? You can pick up your mail, but I'm going to pick up mine. Right. Amen. 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 Praise, Praise our God. Praise our God. Praise our God. Praise our God. I don't even look at what nights. My schedule at work is so messed up and jacked up that I work weekends and Saturdays and Sundays. I forget what day it is sometimes. I don't think of a Wednesday night service anymore as a Wednesday night service. No. Might as well be a Sunday night to me. Because I, when I feel the Holy Ghost, but I don't care what day hey. it is. You know what? You know, yes, because you know what? I got to be at 5 o'clock in the morning at my job. Yeah. But you know what? This weekend, I'm off. So, I'm right. church. so don't make no difference to me. I love it, brother. I want to get to the church house. Right. I need to get in the spout where the glory comes out. Right. You know what? Maybe God will give every one of us a job to where we don't have to worry about what day it might be. But I don't care if it's Saturday or Wednesday or Sunday or yesterday or the day after. It makes no difference to me. Because the Spirit of God's going to fall when the Spirit of God wants to fall. We're right there, church. We're right there. We, we, we are right there, Brother Ernest. We are right there on the edge. We are right there on the edge. It may not be tonight. It may not be tomorrow night. It may not be Saturday. It may not be Sunday, but it just might be tomorrow. It just might be Saturday. It just might be Sunday. Where are you going to be when God opens up heaven? the bloodshed across the earth if you haven't been watching probably should open up and see it you know we have a very good friend of ours who's really really close to the most recent bloodshed that happened on this earth but you know what there's coming a day where no more guns no more violence no more people dying no more AIDS no more cancer no more disease the God of heaven is going to open up That woman there said words to me that that, that she was she was about as honest as you could get. She would tell you what you needed to hear. She would tell you. So I love that woman. Brother Joe Atkinson spoke to me a week or so ago, but I'll tell you what. She's in a better place. She's in a better place. She's where I'm trying to get to. Amen. God bless that woman. I'm jealous of that woman to be for quite frankly with you. Because she's already where I'm trying to get. You know, she's done you know, she's done walked her journey. She's done been in her journey, and I am yes. going to continue yes. to be there one day yes. where I can take that journey that she just took. Oh, yeah. You know what? I don't care where it might be. Brother Marlo, if you want to open up a church in Samoset, I, I'm there. All right, praise God. If you want to open up a church in Palmetto, I'm there. All right. Man, if you want to take this thing all the way to Fort Lauderdale, let's go, son. Amen. Man, glory, 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 glory. If glory. you want to fly it where you want to fly it, let's go. 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 Brother, we preach faith in this place. Yeah. We do preach faith in this place. Yeah. But you know what? Faith is not just in word. Right. Faith is an action. action. Yes. Yes. Faith is an action. Yes, it is. Faith is an action. Yes. Brother, I think it's time that we, again, again, I said it. I put the devil on notice. I'm going to still keep you on notice. It's time for us to go to work. Yeah. It's time for us to go to work. Now, you may be working, and God bless you, but let's keep stepping forward. Amen. Let's keep moving forward. Amen. Let's keep doing what God Amen. wants us to do. Oh, yeah. If you're on the backside of the desert and you hear a call that there's an anointing coming on your life, do what you've got to do to get where you want to go. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. That's 
that's where I want to be. This yeah. church is going to be there. Oh, Don't you worry about this place. Yeah. Don't you worry about this ministry. Yeah. Don't you worry about anything that goes on that God has placed All his right. hand upon. Right. Because if God has put his hand upon it, yeah. you don't have to that's worry right. about it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be the greatest church this yeah. side yeah. of the moon. Hallelujah. And it may not be in a physical, the, the most number of people. But this ministry is going to touch people's lives. This ministry is going to reach people. This ministry is going to do exactly what it's needed to do. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. whom God has put together. Amen. I know we use it in weddings all the time. But whom God has put together, let no man put us on. Amen. This joy that I have, y'all say it with me, this joy that 